Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. We've got kind of a funny turn of events today. I'm actually preparing this guitar to, uh, to be, well, donated, essentially. And uh, if you've been watching my channel for a very long time, and I mean a very long time, you may recognize this one. And if you haven't, you probably won't. I did this. This was probably, this may have been the first paint job I did on the channel. And it is by far the oldest custom painted guitar or me painted guitar that I still have in my possession. And uh, I deserved this, I'll be honest with you. But uh, essentially, my wife basically told somebody that I would donate it. So it's, yeah, it's going for something that makes sense. And, uh, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to donate it. But before I do, I have an opportunity here to show you guys something. I'm going to get it ready. And to get it ready, I've done a setup. All good. Sounds good now. But I'm also going to protect it a little bit. This clear coat is pretty old. No problem there. But well, Mohawk sent me a bunch of stuff to demo, so I'm going to do that. So in this video, we're using the Scratch and Mar Resistor Polish. This stuff is designed to prevent fingerprinting and to basically put a little bit of a wax finish almost on top of your existing finish in order to protect it a little bit more. So that's something we could all use on our guitars for the most part. I'm probably going to do most of my guitars in this, but uh, this one in particular is going out the door right now, and it's going to go into a kit bag and get donated. So I'm going to protect it a little bit. In order to do this, you clean your guitar off first. And this stuff, like I said, has a little bit of kind of a wax protective finish on it. So if you're planning on painting it again at some point and you've done this or any kind of polishing, keep in mind you're going to have to clean all of this off. Use some wax and grease remover, clean that off, and then you can keep painting. Probably also want to sand a little bit. Um, this is a lot like, I think, the type of instrument polish that Dunlop used to have, that kind of stuff where you spray it on and you use it as a cleaner. So it also works really well for other things like wooden furniture. I don't have any wooden furniture anymore. All of my stuff's kind of glass and metal and that kind of crap, um, but I'm gonna use it on my guitars. So, pretty straightforward. I have cleaned this with wax and grease remover already. I'll show you guys what it looks like here. Certainly not my best polish job ever, it's quite old. Uh, and then we'll spray this on, see if it looks any different, but it should clean it up nicely and, uh, and help protect it. Let's get to it. All right, so there's your, there's your surface. You can see it's, it's flat, but it's not, it's not quite perfect. And I've got a little bit of the, the textured stuff going on where I did these textured lines, but that I thought at the time was a cool part of the finish. Now, it doesn't really matter what I think anymore. It's not gonna be mine pretty quick here. So I'm gonna use a little lint-free cloth, which is actually just a section of t-shirt that I tore off of a shirt that was old and I'd been wearing for years. Uh, important, in my view, that it be an older t-shirt that's been through the wash a few times because that's what prevents it from leaving lint behind and stuff like that. Now this stuff just sprays, so you give it a good shake, I think. I don't know, there's nothing on here that says to shake it, but you can also reapply this every couple weeks if you play your guitar a ton. I don't play mine all that often, but we've got off and on, typical spray bottle. It doesn't hurt if you get a little bit on the hardware and whatnot, but just spray a bit on the surface, and I'm using a lint-free rag, like I said, and I'm just gonna almost use it like I'm cleaning, and wipe it around. Pretty straightforward. And realistically, it shouldn't, it shouldn't look much different. It shouldn't really look any different than a properly cleaned surface. It's just gonna have a little bit of a wax on it. Now, what I used to use for this, other than the furniture polish from like Dunlop and whatnot, or yeah, wooden furniture polish or guitar polish from Dunlop, is um, quick wax detailing stuff from Meguiar's for automotive. And that's also an option, but this is, this is designed for interior use and you know it's good on on wood and lacquer and stuff the the quick polish uh, or quick wax from Meguiar's is made for polyurethane which is fine too if you're doing polyurethane guitars they're both useful but it is a good thing to do to your guitar it helps protect it so you guys probably can't see this but uh, I can from where I'm standing here right now when you use this it leaves for a moment a little bit of a haze that then dries out and that's typical of waxed finishes like this, waxed products. They get kind of a little waxy haze that goes away and then you've got a protective layer on there. And actually, 
interestingly, I can feel the difference. This feels more slippery, which is typical of a waxed finish. If I were to drop water on here now, it would beat up probably like it does on a freshly waxed car. So that's the front, let's do the back. All right, I'm trying to see if I can give you guys a good view of what I was talking about. So let's see here. Yeah, maybe you'll be able to see on there how this kind of waxes up, if you will. I'll spray a little bit on there. Doesn't take a whole lot. And hopefully you can see that. I can't, I'm using a phone to film this because it's better than my camera. So I can't see in the viewfinder, obviously, but it kind of like hazes up a little. And then it should as it dries, turn a bit whiter and then clear up again. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, you can see, I'm looking in the viewfinder now, you can see the streakiness, which is part of the deal. Wipe that up a little bit and it'll haze. And then it'll dry up. I'll fast forward through this part a bit. There you go, pretty cool, hey? So now that's got some wax on it, it's protected. Yay. All right guys, there you have it. It's time for me to say goodbye to this guitar, but that's just fine because I've got plenty of others in the works that I need to fill this space with. So I needed somewhere to put them. There we go. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And a big thank you to Mohawk for sending me this and, and a bunch of other stuff that I'm going to show you. Um, looking forward to testing a bunch of it out. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Helps me out. And remember, subscribe so you can see the other cool stuff we got going on. Thanks again. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.